Hey guys, hope you're all good. Join me on this gorgeous Sunday morning. It's about, well no, it's not about, it's 24 degrees so, and it's uh, 9.49 in the morning. I'm just about to enter Newmarket, where we're going to meet Daz on the CB1000, hopefully, if he's there. I've got Simon in front of me on his track bike, which is his ZX10. Looks and sounds amazing. And we've got Rat, who burnt off back there on his Africa Twin DCT. <laughs> He did, a he did a massive wheelie. I've never seen anyone do a massive wheelie on an Africa Twin before. It was a sight to behold. I'm not going to attempt that anytime soon. Uh, no, I'll pass on that. Right, let's see if Daz is at this fuel station. He didn't get back to us, so I don't know if he's actually here. Uh, there's Rat, so can't see Daz. Yeah, interesting. Right. Where's Daz? Yeah, he's not here, is he? I'm just chatting to myself on the vid. Do you see his wheelie? I've never seen anyone wheelie an Africa Twin before. Oh, you can wheelie it. You have to turn the traction control off, otherwise it's just going crazy. <laughs> it's open. It's weird with no clutch. Did that car try and pull out on you? No, no, I knew that. I, I, oh, I thought you were shouting at him. Stephen Struthers. Oh, right. I thought you were getting annoyed with him. <laughs> uh, what about you? I thought oh, he slammed on the brakes. I was like, oh! Yeah, no, yeah, I knew because I knew him. I knew oh, no, Daz. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he yeah. must have been 30 seconds behind us. What? He must have been 30. We just got here. Oh, really? Yeah. He must have been so close behind us. Right, no one needed any fuel. I just asked Rat about his pipe, his Scorpion, on his Africa Twin. And he, uh, and he took the baffles out of it, you can see. It's baffleless. And it's probably twice as loud as my pipe. And I don't think I can take the baffles out of mine. I think that the the, uh, the Allen key bolt has been uh, flattened off. I, I can't. I'd have to have a look at it. But here in these Africa Twin with no baffles, I'm like, oh, I want to take my baffles out now. So yeah, his is uh, DCT, black and red. He's just saying he might. He's going to get another bike. I think he's going to get a uh, and one of the fast naked bikes, Tuono MT10. He's not sure yet. And he'll keep his Africa Twin. It's on a three-year deal, so he'll keep that because he likes it to use for work and stuff. Right, so guys, yeah, we're in Newmarket. There's four of us. Got side behind, as I said. ZX10, Daz on the CB1000 at the back. Ratman in front. We're off to John Banks Honda in Berry St Edmunds. And I need to sign some paperwork for my new CRF250. So I mentioned to the guys, do you want to come, do you want to come along? Uh, see what's what? And they said, yeah, cool, sounds a, sounds a plan. So, yeah, I've got the three guys with me. Uh, we're just queuing through Newmarket High Street at the moment. I thought I'd take this chance to uh, have a chat while I'm not going a gazillion miles an hour because this helmet is very, very noisy at speed with the yeah, mic fitted inside it. My other AGV is a lot quieter, so. Yeah, Gaz is at work, uh, Wags is at work. Greg's moved into a new house, so he's moving some stuff into it. So none of the other guys are around. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, CRF. It's getting delivered on Tuesday, I think. It's not the most exciting bike in the world, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that we could just, I can take it green lane in, I can do things to it, change the pipe, just tweak it a little bit and have a bit of fun with it. And it's not an expensive bike. I think Simon, as in behind on the uh, ZX10, I think he might do a deal on one too. So there'll be two CRFs and three KTM Freeride 250s. So it's more going to be for the winter because it's so, so dry at the moment. It's unbelievable. It hasn't rained in the UK for, I think it's nearly eight weeks. It's just ridiculous. I've never in living memory known it to be this dry. It's, it's unbelievable. So 
yeah, every day is warm. It's between, yeah, God, I don't know, 25 and 30 degrees every single day. Right, not sure the way. I've got my sat nav on. So, I didn't put the destination in, but I think, oh no, hold on, we're going straight on. Yep, thought we're turning right. I got it wrong. Uh, horses up there crossing the road. They've got more rights in Newmarket than the humans, I think. <laughs> it's funny. So yeah, guys, I'm on the Africa Twin. I thought I'd do a little chat about it. It's had a service. Uh, I've ordered some new wheels. I just thought I'd have a little chat about it. I don't take this out for many long runs. And because I was going to Honda, I thought it'd be rude to pull up on a Ducati. So I thought it'd be nice and pull up on my Africa Twin. I think Daz may be interested in taking out the CB1000 as in the new model. And Rat wants to look at the Fireblade as well. So, yeah, we'll have a look when we get there. I've only ever been to John Banks uh, in Berry once. But the good news is, the word on the street is the Cambridge branch of uh, John Banks only used to do bikes up to, I think, 125. But now they've uh, branched out and I think they're doing a full range of bikes. Well, maybe not a full range, but they are doing a, a bigger range. So it's great for me because my bikes can, I can go and order parts from there. And it's only three miles from my house rather than using Barris and Edmund. So that's brilliant news and for servicing too. So guys, any of you, look at, any of you guys in this area looking at Hondas, yeah, John Banks, John Banks, Cambridge. It's the way forward. It's a good plan. Oh my God, these houses down here are worth absolute fortune. Like, unbelievable amounts of money. Look at them. They are worth millions. A lot of the uh, trainers for the horses live down here, I think. Ah, oh, and the air always smells of horse muck all the time in Newmarket. That's the downside to living here, but it's a nice place to live, I must admit. Some of these houses are, oh my God, they're amazing. Lovely. Anyway, right, so Africa Twin. Service was £180, that was the oil change. They checked over a few bits. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. The fuel gauge, the, av the average miles to gallon had uh, decided to stop working. Don't quite know what was wrong with it. To pull the old clutch in for the horses. be quiet. I thought we were going to get a green light there, not sticking out a bit, but... <laughs> Rat pulled another wheelie! Oh my god, I'm boiling! Sat in that traffic's horrible. Guys, yeah, so Africa Twin Service 180 pounds oil change, checked over a few bits. I've ordered a new set of wheels under warranty, they're on back order, and Rat's going to do the same today at John Banks. They take pictures and they send the pictures off to uh, well, they can't they can't quibble the claim, they have to give you new wheels, there's no question about that. So, he's going to do that today. So this bike, as ever, is absolutely bulletproof. It's brilliant. Apart from the crappy corroded wheels, it's superb. Absolutely superb. I wasn't even thinking of getting rid of this and getting a high-powered scooter to use in, in, in town for commuting, but then the scooter would be rubbish to use for runs out like this. I wouldn't be able to bring it. So, well, you can, but it would be very, a very nice experience with its little wheels. So I'd much rather keep this. Definitely. But this bike's brilliant. You know, I'll come out on this. As a, it's not as an, a, such an event as riding the monster. But it's a bit sterile, I suppose you'd call it. 
And Rat even said he's a bit bored of his because he had his GSXR before that. But you can't compare it to a bloody sports bike. So yeah, if you did decide to have a whiz up to Lake District to see my buddy, I'd take this and I'd be chuffed. It'd be absolutely fine. It's a great machine. Absolutely great. Right, going back to the CRF. I, as I said, Simon, I think, is going to look into getting one. Gaz, Wags and Matt have all got, or about to get, KTM Freeride 250s. They were out the other day uh, messing around on them. Uh, there's some land Gary knows he can go out on and down the fens and some green lanes and stuff and they had a right, right old laugh. I'll add a picture now of Gary's KTM Freeride. <laughs> it's an awesome piece of kit. It is, it is brilliant. It's definitely more compromised on the road than the CRF, but better off the road. But I want something maybe that I can ride to the green lanes and it just is a bit more, I don't know, maybe not such a road bike, but it's just not such a focused off road bike. The free ride is probably, compared to the CRF, is about £2,000 more. That's what I'm guessing, I don't know for sure. But CRF is uh, just over four grand, and I set up a PCP deal with it, and it was uh, it's spot on. Right, as I said, no idea where we are, the rat man knows, so we're just following him. guys to come by me. There goes sight. There goes Dazza. Oh, it's nice to be out on the bikes. Awesome. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying the Spain videos. I think I posted the other day I posted part three so I've probably got one more part to go and they're just great to, to edit because I'm reliving the whole holiday and that, that's oh, it's awesome I just want to go back and do it all again it's so good so I put a link to the playlist with all the vids I've made so far so check them out if you've not because they're brilliant absolutely brilliant Give them a give them a watch. They're, they're fun. Right. Let's get to Barry St Edmunds. I need a drink of water. Oh, stone the road. On the way back, I might swap with Darren. I'll go on his uh, CB thousand. blink and the bloody summer just disappears it just vanishes into thin air you've got to get out and have fun when you can Whoa. <coughs> we would not want it to have met that ah oh, dust we would not want it to have met that on that other bend that is for sure that's the problem with these little roads so yeah, that, that's the sort of thing you expect this time of year, the harvesting tractors with either a trailer full of grain or a trailer full of bales. If you pick the really, a really bad time of the day, early or later, you'll get a combine coming around the corner that takes up the whole road. I just said about a combine, and that isn't ex exactly a combine. I think it's a sprayer, yeah, it's a, it's a fertiliser spraying lorry but there's lots of stuff around here at the moment to be really careful as I always say if you can't see around the corner take it easy because you never know what's coming the other way expect the unexpected is my motto because 
nine times out of ten, that, that is what happens. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. It's lovely. Oh, this bit of road's brilliant. No idea where we are. I think Rat knows where we're going. Yeah, the turn left. <laughs> yeah, lucky he knows because I don't. Ah, oh, dust. Cutting the corn. Sure. No. What are you doing? Get back. Idiot. Don't pull out that far. Oh my god, look at the dust ahead. No, I'm not asthmatic luckily, but if you're asthmatic and you drive through this corn dust. I think you'll be maybe yeah you might you might have a bit of a wheeze on <laughs> holy moly it's not like we go it's not like, it's like we're going into the uh, oh god do you know what it wasn't a combine it was just it was just the dust coming off that field that a truck was on. That's how dry it actually is. It's so dry. This bike handles so well for a big bike. Oh, it's lovely. It's not quite at the level of the monster, but it's pretty damn good. Yeah, if in doubt. If in doubt, head to Berry. Yeah, but I, I didn't put the postcode in the sat nav because I knew Ratman knew where we were going, so I didn't bother. But if I did get lost, at least I've got that to uh, find the way. Find the way. Yeah, that Tom Tom's brilliant, and I, I love it mounted up there. If anyone's got an Africa Twin, it's way better on that bar than putting it on here. I've got a bracket there, but it's too, you look down at it. With that, I can just look ahead and just glance down and not lose my vision forward. It's a lot better. All right, guys, just leaving the A14. And I think we're not far from John Banks. I think it's just up here. If my memory serves me well, although I have a bad memory, So to be there at half past 10, and it's uh, 10.29. Not bad. Although we have, we did do a little bit of a quicker route onto the A14, because we, we did get a little bit lost. A little bit lost. Right, we are here. What are you doing, mate? Driving like a dick. What a dickhead. Oh my God, stupid little car. It was, it wasn't even in control of it. Total moron. Uh, I think we go around here. I think we go to the bikes this way. Hey, we're here. Got confused there. I was meant to go across, and I was watching the sat there, but it said so right. Mate, it doesn't matter. It's half ten, so it's fine. 
We made it. Right guys, just heading back home from John Banks Honda. Signed some paperwork for my bike. It was there with my name on. Looking good, the little CRF 250. And there was another one in the showroom that Simon's gone and bought as well. Yes! So Sai's now getting his delivered uh, Tuesday the same as me. So brilliant. So there's two of us on CRFs so far. Maybe Daz is rumoured to be interested as well. So, uh, yeah. Nick, the guy at John Banks, very nice guy. Anyone go in there, speak to Nick Carter, top man. Very, very friendly, easy to deal with, no, yeah, no drama, just brilliant. So, looking forward to the LCRF coming next week. I'll, I'll do a separate video on that. Obviously, I'm not gonna talk about it much now until it comes. There's a few bits I need to do to it and uh, get sorted out. I think we've ordered uh, Barkbuster hand guards that are quite expensive but they've got a metal frame that goes round the uh, round where the grip is and where the handguard goes as well. So they're a lot more protective if you drop the bike than just the normal bendy, flappy handguard, just to protect the uh, uh, clutch and brake lever. So yeah, they're going to be fitted. I've gone for white ones and Simon's gone for black ones. So that's all we've had to fitted there. Oh, I love hearing the sound of the ZX-10. Sounds brilliant. So I'll get some good track days done on that. Ah, oh, my glove's gone funny. Yeah, he'd have some great fun on that on the track. And uh, Mr. Hayes has got his uh, fire blade. So they'll be having some right, right fun. That's one thing I will, we do want to get into at some point. Because those sort of sports bikes on the road, just a bit, it's a bit silly. They can ride on the road, but they're just meant for the track. Perfect bike for the track, for Simon. Spot on. The boys vanished. They were shot off at the roundabout, and I'm not sure where they've gone. They did say Mildenhall, which is where I am now. Right, I found the boys. The, the Ratman and Daz, they said Mildenhall. Simon somehow went off towards Thetford on the A11. Right, let's start heading back because I'm off with Wags this afternoon to gear four. Uh, I think it's north of Peterborough to buy some enduro gear. Ah, uh, Buzzard. Hey, Mr. Buzzard. So I need some new boots because these boots are rubbish. I need some more motocross style boots with more ankle support. Uh, and for riding in this weather green laning, I want a uh, a full body armour suit with a motocross jersey over the top and some motocross uh, just lightweight trousers and then uh, some under some knee supports for underneath the uh, trousers that's the plan of action anyway so I we're gonna go and check it out they might not have all our sizes there but at least we can try on some uh, sizes and then we can order them on the net from somewhere else if need be so yeah we're gonna go and do that later so i've got to start heading back walnut tree pub looks nice all right guys hope you enjoy this quick vid quick insight into my getting my crf chatting about the africa twin a bit of this and a bit of that i hope simon makes his way back before it gets dark i'm sure he'll be fine <laughs> uh yeah and i'll catch you guys in the next vid all right guys cheers see you later